Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a kind of a split video. It's going to be a unboxing, but as you can see everything's already out of the box, and a how-to. So here we have a Mighty Vac vacuum brake bleeder, and the part number on it is MV6830. So as you can see, I already have most of the stuff out of the box. The only thing that's in the box still are the instructions and really very self-explanatory on how to use this machine. Um, so the main part of the machine is the actual tank and the vacuum uh, part are the, um, the reservoir. So basically this, this is the whole machine that you need to worry about. You have your uh, lever that turns it on and off that basically opens up the valve to allow for air pressure to come in um, to have your air supply and no not the band for all you old people that watch my videos. Number two you have your uh, basically your nipple or your air piece that you hook your your airline to. Your last thing that you have is the outlet or the inlet for the fluid that's come, coming into the reservoir. Now this has a 0 to 150 psi uh, air supply or air capacity. So let's go down. Let's go down the other things that it comes with. So we have basically the, the bench uh, piece for um, basically holding it to the bench or for the workbench that you need. Number two, we have. A couple, where is it? We have a couple auto refill kit uh, pieces. We have, if you want to be able to just walk away and fill your brake fluid um, or master cylinder without any issues, then you can have those. Or you can just grab a bottle of approved brake fluid for your vehicle, which is either DOT uh, 3 or DOT 4. So, the last couple things that you really have here are your hoses that basically one attaches to the caliper, the, the bleeder, and you have your other one that actually sucks out the fluid from the master cylinder. You have a hook for if you're standing underneath the car and you didn't want to take the tires off, you can hang it from somewhere and hang it off this. Number three is a couple extra fitting or a couple extra pieces for the, um, to hook off the bleeder. All right, so now that we're done with the unboxing, or the boxing unboxing, <laughs> um, we're gonna go through the steps of how to do a brake flush. So basically, after you have your air supply, if you're working at a shop, you should have air supply. Um, you hook up your airline fitting to this, and what you do is, if you just got done doing brakes, most likely you have pushed in the bleeders, or you have pushed in the calipers, and that all the fluid went up to the master cylinder. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your suction line and you're going to suck all the fluid out of the master cylinder with the suction line. It's gonna fill up pretty quickly because it's only got a 1.9 quart capacity or 1.8 liter. So after you're done sucking out most of the fluid from the master cylinder, what you do is you're gonna grab your approved brake fluid that you have for your vehicle and you're going to fill it up. Now after you're do done with that, you're gonna go inside the car, you're gonna pump the brake pedals a couple of times. Don't be weary, it's gonna be a little spongy if you did push the pistons in. Once you start getting a, a pedal, once it starts to feel hard, then what you do is you're gonna go to the furthest brake line on the vehicle, or the longest brake line on the vehicle, which is going to be the passenger rear, or for anybody out there that you works as a mechanic, it's going to be the right rear. Either way. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your trusty brake, brake hose that you're going to attach to the bleeder. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to click that in there. That sits in there nice and tight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get the wrench that fits the bleeder. There's a, a couple wrench sizes that fit different bleeders for different cars. These are the most common ones. You're gonna have either an eight, a 10, a 11, 
a three ace, and on occasion you might have a nine. I rarely seen that, but I, I have seen a nine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crack your bleeder open. You're gonna put this on there, just on the bleeder. You're gonna open this up. It's gonna have a loud hissing noise. It's gonna be really irritating, but you just deal with that. So as this is pulling the brake fluid through, you're gonna notice that it's the line is clear. You're gonna be able to see the dirty fluid coming out. Now what you wanna do is while that's pulling the fluid out, you wanna to go to the master cylinder. You wanna make sure the fluid is at a reasonable level. Uh, you, you don't wanna run the master cylinder dry. So you wanna continuously keep the brake fluid in there. Unless you're using one of these adapters, then you really don't have to worry about that. So after that's said and done, you go to the line that you're bleeding. You take your hose off, the bleeder. And what I like to do is I like to keep the bleeder open for a couple seconds, let it drip out a little bit, and then close it. The reason I do that is I'm able to see the fluid coming out, even though, yeah, you have the fluid coming through the, the line. Um, I've never had an issue to where I've kept the bleeder open for a couple seconds and had it drip out and had it had air in the system. So that's the way I do it. You don't have to, but it's, it's good practice. I've never had an issue. Um, then what you do is you go to the next longest one, which will be the driver's rear, then the passenger front, then the driver's front. You go in a zigzag pattern because that's going to be the far, that's going to be the longest amount of time it's going to take for the fluid to get from the master cylinder all the way down to the last, last or the furthest brake line. Um, so again, you always start with the one that's furthest from the master cylinder. Once you're all said and done with that, once you've sucked the fluid through and you've kept the fluid in the master cylinder, you go to your brake flu you go to your brake pedal again, you pump the brake pedal. Now it's gonna feel spongy again because basically you're bas pulling the fluid back and you're pulling the mat the pistons back on the calipers into the caliper. So you start pushing the brake pedal, it pushes that fluid back into the caliper, pushing the piston back out, and then you'll start to get a hard pedal again. Um, and then make sure your last thing you do is you make sure you have a proper brake fluid level. You clean up the master cylinder and you close the, or you put the cap back on. So basically that's a simplified brake flush. I wish I could show you guys how to do it, but um, this thing's very obnoxious and you wouldn't probably be able to hear me talk about it. So maybe one of these times I'm doing a brake flush, I could actually use it and show you guys how to do it. So until next time, deuces. Hopefully this helps you.